Do you guys see that gar? I came out here to film. Oh, look at him. He's at the top of the water. I wish I had my fishing rod. I'd snag hook him. What's up YouTube? This is Chris, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys one of the most effective and simple bottom rigs that you can use for fishing. So let's not waste any time and let's jump right in to how to tie the knocker rig. Word from the wise, if you're... I don't even understand what's going on right now. I come out to film at my own home in the backyard and the guys mowing the neighbor de or the neighbor next door sit here, stop mowing, just to watch me film. Like I don't stop filming to watch you mow, or I don't stop what I'm doing throughout the day to watch you mow. So why are you stopping mowing to watch me film? Ah, <sighs> all right, rant over. Let's get back into the tutorial on how to tie the knocker rig. I don't understand. Every time I come outside to film a video, somebody has to be mowing a lawn. I don't understand. I don't know, maybe the YouTube gods don't want me to make videos, but I don't understand why every time I come outside, somebody's got to interrupt my film time, so interrupt me talking to you to mow their lawn. But I guess that's what we get for living in Florida. Grass grows like crazy. As you guys can tell, my lake bed's pretty crazy because we got to mow it like every three days. All right, so for the knocker rig, it's probably one of the easiest bottom fishing rigs that you can tie. Actually, I would say it is the easiest. Um, that next to the Carolina rig. But the knocker rig is my go-to when it comes to bottom fishing in specific areas, especially when there's a lot of uh, tidal flow through there because the knocker rig really shines when there's a lot of tidal flow. All right, so what you're gonna need for the knocker rig, three simple things. So all you're gonna need is an egg sinker, so I got right here, I got a two ounce, I believe, yep, two ounce. You're gonna need some leader. Here I got 60 pound Seaguar, red label. And you're also just gonna need a hook. And all these, all the terminal tackles, so the size of your egg sinker, the size of your hook, and the size of your leader are all gonna depend on what species of fish you're targeting. So if you're gonna go for snapper, you're gonna wanna use a little bit less of a leader, hook, and egg sinker. Whereas you're going for grouper, you're gonna have to up your game or up your terminal tackle a little bit. So here I got everything laid out, all three of our items. Uh, and like I said, it's gonna be really simple. So let's pretend this is our main line. So our leader coming off of our, our main line. Now we can choose to either use a swivel uh, to tie our leader to our main line or we can actually just splice the lines together using a knot. My go-to knot is the Albright knot. I'll link it in the description. I have a video on how to tie it or I'll just put a little bubble up here that you guys can click. So after tying that we got our leader. We're gonna take our egg sinker. Now this is the most important part of the knocker rig because uh, it can be a pain when you forget to put your sinker on there and you tie your hook on there. You get a nice nice knot and you realize that you forgot your egg sinker. So here you go, you're gonna slide it on there. Now you're just gonna wanna leave it on the ground, on the boat, on the dock, wherever you're at, because it can be a pain when you're trying to tie your actual hook when you got a, a weight hitting your hand. So I like to tie the approved clinch knot, the Palmer knot. It's just depending on what, uh, basically your comfort zone for what knot you wanna use. Now some people prefer to put a glass bead. In between the weight and the leader, I opt against that. I think the less terminal tackle you have, the more, uh, the better chance you get a bite. So there we go. Like I, all I did was tie an improved clinch knot to the actual hook itself. And then you're gonna wanna let your sinker hit the weight just like that. So it can freely move along the leader. You're gonna wanna trim the tag. Don't let your weight escape you. Trim your tag. So there, we have it. There's our knocker rig. So the purpose of this is your weight is gonna sit on the bottom here and when you're live bait fishing, your bait can come up kind of friends, uh, swim freely 
depending on where you want it, you actually have determination on where the bait's gonna go because you can feel it when it's on the bottom. You can feel the bait coming up and stuff like that. So that's the whole point of the knocker rig is to get it all the way at the bottom. And you can either tuck your bait on the bottom so you can keep them really close to the sinker or you can let them swim up and you all you got to do is pull back, give slack and pull back slack when you want him closer to the bottom or closer to the surface. See, now I'm starting to think that they're actually sabotaging me because as soon as I'm done filming the video or recording the tutorial, they stop mowing. So I don't understand. It's like the YouTube gods don't want me to get good audio for you guys. Well, that being said, if you do not have the knocker rig in your fishing arsenal or you guys don't use it for bottom fishing, you really should. It's one of the most proven ways to catch bottom fish. So I hope you guys learned something new in this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the page for more, and leave a comment down below, right there, right there, down below, if you guys have any questions. All right, peace.